going on, y'all? Um, Mike C-Town here with another uh, Dead and Hip Hop website exclusive solo review. If you have not already, make sure you go check out BZFO, BZF, BZFO 30's uh, review of the Binary Star EP. Um, but today, I'm going to talk about the new Cannibal Ox EP entitled Gotham. Um... I don't know, you guys should already know who Cannibal Ox is, but in case you don't, if you've been living under a fucking rock in the woods, you know, naked and dirty, I'll go ahead and let you know, man, Cannibal Ox was a groundbreaking, genre-bending uh, hip-hop group. They put out one of the best albums um, of that era, in my opinion, on Jooks called Cold Vein. Um, Can Ox is... Vast Air and uh, Vortal Megala. Um, back then, Canox also included LP on production. What made Cannibal Ox so amazing was you had not heard rapping like that. You'd also not heard production like that. So putting those two together, it, it was just unbelievable, man. Um, you know, LP's insanely futuristic spastic beats combined with uh Vortal Vortal's weird off time off kilter flow with Vast Air's really poetic verses it was just a match made in heaven when I heard that Vast Air was doing another Ox album I was just like uh I don't know how how interested in this I am because you know I gotta say I got really excited when he was doing this um, and I, I was not, um, super pleased with this, with this album, um, considering Vortal was only on one track, why are you calling it Ox 2010? I just never got that. So when I, again, so when I heard that, oh, there's another Ken Ox release coming out, I was just like, all right, well, you know, I'll definitely look out for it, but I'm not going to get super stoked over it. And since I'm already a stan, I already knew that LP and Vast had some kind of weird beef. So I knew there would be no LP production on this. So I was just like, you know, it's going to be Vast Air and hopefully Vortal on some tracks rhyming over whatever kind of production Vast Air felt like putting on this. While listening to the first track, Gotham, uh, I felt like that feeling of Vast Air and Vortal needing LP on production for a Canox record was pretty much squashed you know they found someone that could give them beats that were almost as good you know um when Vortal came in I I had goosebumps for a minute man because I hadn't hadn't heard him in a while man and I, I started to get excited you know Vortal spit a standard Vortal verse which was um really dope in terms of flow because he's always crazy with his flow like I feel his flow is just really 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 dope and underrated um but the lyrics were just okay it wasn't the Vortal that I had uh really learned to admire um you know and then Vast came in and he seemed to just kind of talk about nothing you know going on about his ex-girlfriends and you know um that's why all my ex-girlfriends love me and I don't know it just felt like he was throwing words together just because they rhymed it didn't seem like I wasn't getting the the Jesus on a crucifix I wasn't getting that fast so I I started to get a little worried man while the beat was really dope um the MCs just it, they sound like they lost a little bit of their flair um but but overall it was still a good track so I was like okay this has potential you know when it went into the next song, um, Gas is in Hell, um, I first thing I noticed was how they put, the, the title of the track is Gas is in Hell, but then in parentheses they put Inhale. And I was just like, okay, so like you need to let us know that you're being clever. Like, come on. While the production was cool, it was not what you'd expect to hear on a Can Ox record. And the hook, I was just like, I don't know about this, man. You know. You know, gas is in hell, gas is in hell, g -g gas is in hell. I was like, okay, this is kind of fresh. But then Vast Air comes in, uh, my style's kind of fat, reminiscent of a whale. 
Dude, no, 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 no. Not from the dude that yelled scream Phoenix. No, I can't with with reminiscent of a whale. Nah, man. Um, and what was really disappointing was after listening to the whole track, it wasn't even a Canox song. It was a Vast Air song. Vortal wasn't even on it. You know, um, so if it was just a Vast Air song, why is this being called a Can Ox song? I just don't get it. Like, I hate to I hate to think that he's trying to capitalize off of the name Can Ox because Vast Air's already got a name in, in the industry um, as far as underground hip hop. He's already got respect, so I don't see why he felt like he had to do this. But, um... Then I just felt like he just kind of threw down some really basic lyrics, you know. Um, they weren't deep at all, unlike stuff you heard on on uh, on Cold Vein. Um, you know, uh, I'm wavy boy. Uh, look at me from a distance, you see me waving, boy. What? Like, who doesn't wave when you see someone you know and you're at a distance? Like, I just don't see why that was worth rhyming about i just don't it again it just seems like he's putting words together for the sake of them rhyming um and you know then there was a couple other corny lines you know i played the flute at bam camp that's how i met your moms like that's what we're stooping down to like cheap mom jokes uh broad thinks she's cute i want to see her toes i mean okay well word to that because you know <clears throat> i gotta say i i hate a girl with ugly ass feet man like if if she looks like she could foot wrestle Beast from X-Men. That's kind of, you know, it's not a good thing, man. If she looks like she could run up a tree without her hands while standing upright, yeah, dude, not not someone you want to bring back to the house, man. Not at all. But still, I don't really see why that was kind of worth putting on a record, but, you know, whatever. We get to the last song, Psalm 82. Um, song was actually pretty dope, man. Had a nice beat. Um, Vortal came in with a nice, nice ass flow. Um, his lyrics were a little bit better on this than they were on the first track. Um, still, we're not up to the Vortal standards that that um, he had with his other records. Uh, I mean, I'm a Vortal stan, you know, from. From his work with Canox to his work with on uh, Young World and Revolution of Young Havocs, like I just think Vortal is a dope, super underrated MC. So hearing him do newer stuff, I just I want that super complex and and poetic Vortal, and I, I didn't really get that. Um, on this you know some of the lines were, were pretty nice uh picture life traveling as vivid memories come together like pixels on a plasma screen you know that was dope but it's not strive live live fuck five one hundred and eight mics you know or 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 his whole verse in pigeon you know vast air had a couple nice lines on there um you know his the the, the line about speaking my name backwards was pretty fresh um the, the line about him from where politicians eat rats like V. I thought that was pretty cool. But again, you know, it's not um, it's not the, the vast air that I wanted for this. Like Jay says, if you want my old shit, buy my old album. You know, I don't want to sit here and, and just overly compare this to the cold vein. Which it probably sounds like I'm doing. And that's really fucked up. But I can't help it. Cold Vein was a monumental hip-hop album, in my opinion. And one of my favorite. So, you can't really help doing that. When you have a groundbreaking album of any kind, any genre, you can't help when the band releases an album after that, you're going to compare it to the groundbreaking album. You know, when Nirvana did Nevermind and then they dropped In Utero, of course people are going to compare In Utero to fucking, you know, to Nevermind. So when I look at this effort versus what Cold Vein was, I can't help but be a little bit disappointed, you know? I I loved what Cold Vein did, and this just was a little bit lackluster. What got me hooked on Cold Vein was the lyrics and the production. And with this, I feel like we just have production with nice flows. 
I don't feel like we have the lyrics we have. We don't have, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Step up to the mic and die again. This is the next lifetime and you want to battle. Either you like reincarnation or the smell of carnations. We don't have shit like, uh, these faces carry scars, mega large. Pigeons turn penguins, talk fable cellular. We don't have that shit on this. And that's, that's really what I wanted. I'm a, I'm a huge, huge fan of both of these MCs. And I just feel like, uh... I don't want to say it, it sounded like they weren't trying, but I just feel like uh, they weren't on their A game. Um, they were on maybe their C plus game or B minus game. You know, I feel like both of these guys can just do a whole lot better than what we got. Um, but this is definitely a great, um, a, a good starting place. I just feel like. I hope that they go up from here, you know? I hope they don't stay level, and I hope they don't go down. Um, that's all we can do is hope, you know? These guys are artists, and they have every right to decide they want to change their style. As artists, um, it's their job to to be true themselves, you know? If they don't feel like writing um, the kind of stuff that they wrote on Iron Galaxy... If they don't feel like giving us that, if if Fordo wants to give us something else, that's his right. That's absolutely his right. But it's also um, my right as a fan to say this is not what I was hoping for. Overall, uh, I don't want to sound like I'm shitting on this. Um, this was a good effort. Um, it just was not what I was looking for with a new Cannibal Ox release. Um... What this record made me do, it didn't necessarily get me hyped to hear the full LP. It just made me curious about what the LP will sound like. You know, if if the whole LP is reminiscent of this EP, um, I might not be too into it. If this is just a slight taste of what's to come and they're they're holding all the super fire for the LP then cool man i can't wait and remember this is just one man's opinion you don't have to take my word for your word um listen for yourself make your own judgments do not let me deter you from getting excited about a canox lp do not let me deter you from running out and purchasing these tracks do not let me deter you from being an absolute vortal mega or or vast air stan um, this is just my opinion of what I thought of these tracks, and, um, that's it, man. That's it, dude. So, yeah, so look for another, um, BZ430 review next week, and another one from, uh, yours truly a week after, and, um, thanks for watching, and do me a favor, people, please keep the comments on the Dead in Hip Hop website. Um, we're trying to, to build the momentum up there um try not to 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 go to the youtube video and leave the comments there all right do me that favor if you like and even remotely care about me do me that one small favor man just that one small favor all right so thanks for watching um that's it thanks.